I'm about a week removed now from my backyard ultra that I did in Cincinnati. I ended up doing 75 miles with a seventh overall finish. So the premise of the race is a 4.2 mile loop that you do every hour. So if it takes you 45 minutes then you have 15 minutes to rest, recover, hydrate, whatever you have to do until you have to be back at the start line to run the next four miles again. At 7 p.m. they switched us to a cement like bike trail versus the first uh, half of the race was is was on an actual trail. Uh, I'm going to recap what I did well, what I did poorly, and, and kind of a, a fun story from it. But the best thing that I did well is I finally figured out my cramping issue. Every single time I would come into an aid station, I would take my bottles out and I would have my buddy Madzeski fill up with Tailwind. And so I was drinking way more fluids and electrolytes than I've ever had before, and I never cramped. So I think I was just very under um, trying to under hydrating during my other races because I would always cramp. The second thing I did really well is I was able to hold down food throughout the entire day. A lot of ultra runners, their stomach shuts off. They can't hold food down. They get nauseous. And a lot of times that's what takes them out of the race. So I was able to eat tons of food. We're talking pancakes. We're talking soup, oranges, uh, sandwiches. Like I was able to eat quite regularly every single hour throughout the day, which I think helps me perform really well. Now, what I did poorly was on this, this back half of the race, um, starting at about 10 p.m., 11 p.m., the race started at 7 a.m. I was running, for the first 60 miles, I was running consistently 40 minutes, 44, 46 minutes, so a little over, like between 10 and 11, 30 minutes per mile for the first 60, and that was very sustainable, but once I got onto the actual cement road, my legs started taking an extreme pounding, and my legs were getting very fatigued. My right hoka totally blew up. A lot of people saw on my Instagram what my shoe looked like. And I had to run kind of with my toes curled. So my muscles were very, very deteriorated. And in order to compensate for that later on in the race, I wanted to try and finish the loop faster. So I, I actually pushed through harder. And then I would try and get in because then I could get my legs more time to rest before I had to start another loop. And I think that that was a bad move now that I think about it because... I should have taken my time and I should have just came in slower. The problem with backyard ultras is if you start coming in at 55 minutes, 56 minutes, then you only have four minutes then to like get your legs back and you got to turn around. The biggest difference between backyard ultras and straight distance ultras is you don't get to pick when you want to run. You don't get to decide what pace you want to run at. So if things start going south and you start kind of the wheels start falling off, it's very hard to recover from that. So I learned a lot from that experience. Basically at mile 65, I went up to the race coordinator and told them I was, I was done because my legs were destroyed and I, and I was just kind of in pain. And every time this clock started counting down to the last you know, minute, I found myself back at the start line doing another loop and I was able to do 12 more miles, just head down, hyper-focused. And then the highlight of the race was at mile or at uh, like about mile 70 for me is I was running by myself on this, on this trail. There was only like less than 10 of us left. I had my headlamp on. I was just looking down on my feet and I look up, <clears throat> this is about like one thirty or something like that. And I look up and <clears throat> there's a man standing right in front of me in my headlamp scares the hell out of me. He's got a flannel boots and a Michael Myers mask on scared the hell of me. At first I thought it was a hallucination, but yeah, I mean, overall, the race was amazing, and I'm definitely going to do another Backyard Ultra. Absolutely obsessed with the format of this race, and it was the hardest race that I think I've ever done, just in terms of the sheer magnitude of effort that you have to put in and all of the factors that you have to control in order to have a good race day. Absolutely loved it. Looking forward to doing it again.